Hey, real estate investors. I am so excited to share with you today about the Series LLC. It is our number one tool that we use for asset protection, anonymity, liability protection, and it is the best tool for every single state besides California where you need to use a Delaware statutory trust. So if you're in any state right now, you can use the Series LLC uh, to protect your real estate assets, your business assets, all of your assets inside of this uh, anonymous uh, and very, very strong uh, structure. And we'll be, I'll be telling you a little bit about today about the mechanics um, of how that works. So first of all, the reason that we need to use a series LLC, the reason that we have to have our asset protection in place is because you don't want to be like my friend who lost over $3 million from a single lawsuit. Um, and he was very well protected. In fact, he was very well insured, um, but he ended up losing $3 million in real estate uh, because what he didn't know is that insurance has inherent limitations. Insurance only protects from simple, uh, accidents called negligence claims. They don't protect against anything else. Breach of contract, somebody alleging that you defrauded them from an email, not protected. Any type of unclaimed intentional act, also not protected. But also any really bad accident will also not be protected because it'll be deemed to be gross negligence and the insurance company is the one that gets to decide that. So if you want to protect yourself up to, uh, to get 100%, to be bulletproof inside of your protection, you have to have an entity structure in place along with your insurance. I always highly recommend you have insurance because that protects against most things most of the time. But what we really want is 100% protection because what are we about here? We're about going up into the right consistently up and to the right as the way that you accomplish financial freedom through real estate investing um, and the long term. And the series LLC is a fundamental part about the way that happens. If you guys don't know me, if this is your first time uh, listening uh, to me, my name is Scott Royal Smith. I'm an attorney entrepreneur as well as longtime real estate investor. Uh, I made my financial freedom through real estate investing um, through the use of single family homes, commercial and apartment complexes. And now I help over 2000 clients in all 50 states and every single type of real estate uh, deal. And today I'm very pleased uh, to share with you the number one strategy that we use in our best practices for asset protection, uh, which is uh, the series LLC. So let me go ahead and jump right in here, guys, to be able to share with you a little bit more about uh, how the series LLC um, actually works. So popping in here to the series LLC. What you end up having here is you have your series LLC that's formed, this series LLC is gonna either be formed in Delaware, Texas, Nevada, or Wyoming. And the reason why is these states are the ones that have something called charging order protection, which is when somebody sues you, can they get the ownership of your series LLC. If you form the LLCs in other states, you potentially run into an issue where it will not have charging order protection. And then you're, when somebody sues you because you got into a car accident that exceeded the limits of liability of your car insurance policy, they could actually come in and seize your LLC. Not the case if you form your asset holding company in one of these states. The states that we typically use inside of Royal Legal Solutions is Texas because it has no ongoing fees. Wyoming is a nice second choice here. They have a $75 annual fee, much more popular to use Wyoming, um, no more effective using Wyoming than it is Texas. Um, and it has a fee, so we particularly prefer to use Texas. Now, this is going to be your series LLC entity, very strong structure. It's going to be recognized um, in every state due to the full faith and credit clause of the U.S. Constitution. Just like Delaware entities are formed in Delaware and used everywhere else, the same thing happens with a uh, any other uh, an LLC or business entity formed in one state and used in another. And a series LLC is a type of one of those business entities. So, uh, if you're if that was something you were worried about, you can not worry about whether your state has laws that allow you to create the series LLC because you can form it in one state and use it in another based upon the full faith and credit of the US Constitution. Great guys, so now that we have the parent entity established, I don't know about you, but I like to be anonymous. And the way that I like to create anonymity here is this is gonna be a revocable, a revocable, revocable trust, right? Or we'll call this internally, you might hear us call this an agent trust because it's just performing just performing a function here to be able to screen your name off of the ownership records of the series LLC. When, whenever somebody looks at who owns this series LLC, it points back to a trust. And because it points back to a trust that's not connected to anybody else, to the, to the extent that there is any information that is, needs to be publicly disclosed about this trust of the series LLC, what we do is, as we use the law firm address 
and we use Scott Royal Smith. You might ask like, why? Why would you, why would you wanna use the attorney and the law firm address as these as for these particular points. And the reason why is because now that this points to a law firm and points to attorney, all the information is further protected by the attorney client privilege. So it gives you that extra level of protection that you can only get when you form this through a law firm. Great, so now that we have an, an, our entity anonymously structured, how does it actually further protect us? So as you guys know, the one of the first things we look at in Royal Legal Solutions is compartmentalization, which means that whenever they sue, we want to make sure that all of our assets are compartmentalized so that way they can only get to that one asset. And if they ever sue us, they can't get to any of our assets because all of our assets are being held by the series LLC. That's all of our cash, our stocks, um, our real estate, everything is going to be held by our series LLC in one form or fashion. Now, this series LLC, what makes it beautiful and amazing and the, my most favorite thing in the entire world outside of my dog franny is because it allows us to create these things called child series so here i have child series a it can create child series b and these child series you can create them absolutely for free there's no filing costs and there's also no ongoing cost for each of these child series and what this means is that each child series is able to be its own entity for liability purposes, just like an LLC. It's not an LLC, it's a child series, but for legal purposes, it's treated just like an LLC for liability protection, such that if there's ever a lawsuit that implicates child series A, it's just like it was in its own LLC. So it can affect child series B, C, et cetera. So you might be catching a drift here on compartmentalization. This now is a very inexpensive way to infinitely scale for free and still have the best protection without any increase in the ongoing costs um, of of uh, the, the structure. So if any anybody, if you're using individual LLCs, you're overpaying because you don't need to. You could be using a series LLC structure and being able to save money doing that. Now, underneath each child series, we're gonna have this box, which I'm gonna leave blank, and then we're gonna have our asset. So here, that asset could be a house. You know, if you owned a business, right? That asset could be, could be a car, right? My drawing here, guys, I know I am not Pablo Picasso here, or maybe I am Pablo Picasso, but I'm definitely not a Michelangelo. Um, that's a car door, by the way. Um, so uh, trust me that I'm a much better attorney than I am an artist. So <laughs> here we go. Like we have a house, you could have a car here. Um, you could also have in a child series here, you might have a syndication investment that you wanna do, right? into it. It can hold any types of these assets, it can hold anything, right? Um, and so what you would do is, is that you compartmentalize every single asset. So if something blows up with one asset, it can't affect any of the other assets here. So if your grandma slipped and fell on the property and it's gross negligence and she's, you know, catastrophically injured, um, what happens is, is grandma's going to sue the property owner. And here, the only asset that they're going to be able to, grandma's going to be able to attack is um, here underneath this uh, child series. Now, remember here up at the top, how we created anonymity using this trust, this revocable trust to hold the entity anonymously. We're going to do the same thing down here. This will also be a trust. This is typically called a land trust. Now, the land trust just means that it's a trust that's structured to be able to own this individual piece of property. This is also a type of revocable trust. And the reason we use a revocable trust is because we're looking to be able to create anonymity and we want pass through tax treatment because they're disregarded entities. So there's no additional returns or filings um, or anything that we have to do. Uh, to be able to uh, have this structure um, in place for us. These create the anonymity, the child series and the parent create the, uh, the protection um, from the lawsuits. So here, these are always just gonna be trusts and trusts are gonna in turn own the asset. So that way we can do everything in this world anonymously. People wanna look into us, they can't find out what we own. When it looks like you don't own anything, you qualify for food stamps, guess what? People don't sue people that look like they qualify for food stamps. Um, and so this is when we look for our uh, our structuring, this is our absolute 
uh, best structuring. So what happens um, if you ever need to, let's say I need to sell this asset, I can sell the asset out of the trust. I can buy assets directly into the trust. A lot of times what our clients will do though, is that they'll buy this new property in their personal name here first, because this is how they can get the best financing terms using those first 10 conventional uh, mortgages um, from uh, that are conforming loans. And then they'll transfer into the land trust using a warranty deed. Similarly, we'll have clients that need to refinance. And guess what we do? We say, great, we'll pull it back out into your personal name. We'll do the refinance and we'll pull it back in. It's a very inexpensive process uh, to be able to transfer that asset um, in and out as needed to be able to accomplish those financing terms. And to the, ex to the extent that um, what those financing terms are, what's going to be most advantageous to you. You always have to talk to the financing company to figure out how do they want us to play ball. They have the money, so we do what they want because we want their money. And then we make all of the legal and tax things work around the people that are going to be able to help us make money and make their life easy because we want their money. Now, <clears throat> when you look at like this property here, you moving them in and out of the structure as, as easy, just like we said. And when you want to, uh, create rents or collect rents from this structure, what you do is, is you create here, what we would call an operating company. This is your operating LLC. This is gonna own nothing, but it's gonna do everything. It's gonna enter into the contracts with the tenants. It's gonna hire contractors. It's otherwise your face to the world, but it doesn't own anything. So if somebody sues, based upon the breach of the lease or anything like that. It's not you personally. If you personally get sued, what will happen is it'll destroy your credit. So you need this LLC in place to be able to protect your credit and to protect you personally um, from anything that comes up. And what you have, what happens is, is now you have this tenant from this house here. What that tenant's going to do is they're going to pay money to the operating LLC here. The operating LLC is now operating just like a property manager would. And that operating LLC is going to in turn pay the series LLC because it's the ultimate owner of the asset. Remember, this could be 10 homes here, right? I'm just using one for representation purposes. So all of the money goes in the operating company. The operating company takes all that money, pushes it to the series LLC. Now the series LLC has the money. It will then have the client be the person that gets the money from the series LLC in terms of the distribution. And, and this is reported onto your 1040 of your personal return. So no additional returns are required um, for the client uh, because this entire entity structure is a pass-through entity. This entity actually has no income because all of the income is being uh, pushed to the series LLC. So there's no need for it to uh, file um, a return unless you just really, really want to uh, file a $0 return. Um, and then you're able to report all the income on uh, to your 1040. So guys, that is the nuts and bolts of how do we use a series LLC? How do we accomplish anonymity um, with doing it? I highly recommend that you go and look at the masterclass and the ebook um, that we have um, on uh, the series LLC, because it's going to be able to get you up to speed in much, much, much more detail about the ins and outs about how to use this structure to be able to protect your real estate assets. You don't want to be like my friend who lost over $3 million in real estate uh, from a single lawsuit. What you do want is to establish those foundations of protection to ensure that you continue to go up and to the right. And then if you ever get a lawsuit filed against you, you just don't care. You just keep operating that you want to. It's the best practice. It's the way for um, attorneys and organizations like mine to be able to help watch your back. Uh, but the thing that you need to do right now is get educated, right? So I'm happy to provide you those free education materials um, by attending the masterclass as well as reading that ebook. And I guarantee you that if you go to that, listen to that masterclass and read that ebook, you will know more uh, than your local attorney. And you might know more than all of your real estate uh, investing peers, unless they're attending this, uh, unless they're attending this. So thank you guys very much. Go register for that masterclass right now.